Welcome back the greatest games. This is the name of this series and we are right now in the third part of this game Kaspar's Immortal Kaspar against Topalov Vikancy 1999 and you can see the Black King is white open on a3 and Now the question is how is white going to chase down this king? So this is where we left Black had just taken on a3 a pawn White to move, and of course he takes on a6 with check. King takes b4, and now for one moment the king is safe, but white can continue to give checks and further open up the king, and black takes on c3. If he plays king b3, then queen a2 check, king takes c3, queen b2, king d3, and now maybe the most precise move is to play rook e7 and there is no defense against bishop f1 which would have been possible immediately as well but rook e7 is even stronger so i was just wondering oh okay so obviously the black queen cannot take on c3 because the pawn on b5 would be hanging in, so black has to play king takes c3. But now again, everything is coming with check, and that's important because otherwise black would immediately mate the white king. I mean, rook d1 is threatening now. So queen a1. Now, if king b3, that would transpose to what we have just seen, I believe. And if king b4, then queen b2. Now, well, queen b3 runs into rook takes b5, and king a5 is answered by queen a3, queen a4, and rook a7. So, in either of these variations, obviously, also after king c5, rook c7, black is losing his queen. All right, so king d2, queen b2 check. And king d1. Well, king e3 is answered by rook e7, so that's not helping black. Followed by mate, king f3, king takes f3, queen g2. And king e1 is answered by a similar variation we will see in the game. First check, and then the finisher move, bishop f1. Beautiful move. So we'll see quite the same move. In this position, also bishop f1. This is really a strong move by Kasparov to finish the game. For one, he's preventing black from playing queen d3 and rook a8. And for the other, he's bringing the last piece into the attack. And this is the, well, the killing move, kind of. Bishop f1, strongly played. And it's just such an astonishing position with the king on d1. The king walked all the way from e8 to d1. What an incredible journey and it will be over soon. So what can black do actually? Not much. If he takes on f1 then queen c2, king e1 and rook e7 and mate in the next move. So, there's really not anything better than to attempt rook d2. And now it first looks like that black is saving himself because white doesn't have any checks. And if he takes on c4, then rook takes b2. And black is entering a rook endgame where he's definitely not worse. So, what can white do now? So, if you would like to stop the video and to find the, the last precise move Kasparov had to play to win. Obviously, you cannot take the rook on h8 because of queen b3 followed by mate, but you can pin the rook, rook d7. That's quite, quite beautiful how Kasparov is finishing up this, this game. So now black cannot take on b2. White is threatening mate, mate on d2. And is there any way for him to protect the rook? No, there isn't. 
he cannot protect the rook with the queen in any way so there's nothing better for him to take the rook but now bishop takes pawn takes and all the way the queen is coming down the diagonal taking the rook and now black is simply down a rook for queen and white is just winning so we'll see the last moves here well rook b7 also doesn't help king a2 king c2 queen d4 and mate is protected queen e4 and queen takes c4 are threatening so white is winning in the game Topalov played rook d3 but it's just it's really not a difficult task here to finish this for Kasparov because the pawn is not dangerous enough queen a4 check stopping the pawn king e1 no f4 there's nothing white has to worry about to so just protect this pawn f5 king c1 rook d2 and another precise move here by Kasparov queen a7 for one protect protecting this pawn on h2 indirectly because of queen g1 and by and also queen e3 is a threat as well as aiming at this pawn on h7 so there was really no reason for Topalov to play on and he resigned at this point so that was Kasparov's immortal game just an amazing amazing chase on the black king against the black king which was finished in a beautiful manner with bishop f1 and rook d7 and i think this is all a great game needs just chasing the king mating ideas all the way over the board and this is why this is, this is my favorite game but we'll see a lot of more great games in the next episodes of the series and i would like to hear your feedback how you like this game how you like this idea this series and if you have any questions or any comments then just post them below i will read them and answer you as fast as i can and if you would like to support me i would be happy if you subscribe to my channel all right see you soon bye